Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's Oracle and Tarot reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for Pile 1. Okay, so this is a new deck, very interesting, that I came across. It's based on the tarot, even though it's not tarot. It's inner voice and it's affirmations and somewhat oracle-ish. And if you chose the first card, bravery makes me unstoppable. We have courage, clarity, number one, and mind. So uh, solar plexus energy coming through. And also with this bird um, representing freedom, some type of freedom is coming into your life. Um, but also seeing things with a different perspective, whatever this is, is going on. Um, we'll get into that a little deeper. It looks like there's a forest in the background and this might be some water. So earth elements, air element, water element coming through. And let's... And number one, also new beginnings. So let's go a little deeper and find out what this is about. And a funny card, when I always, when I get a new deck, I like to play around with it for an hour or so, or 30 minutes. And um, this card came out like three or four times for me. The first time I opened the box and started playing with them, I kept laughing. I actually have a thing for turtles. Um, so green, heart chakra. My true nature is that of health and wholeness, practical, reliable, king, and prosperity. So also with this courageous, uh, with this courage and bravery and freedom, some prosperity, whatever it is you're doing is bringing some prosperity. And with the turtle, it tells me um, that you have been working on this for quite some time. It could be, uh, I'm getting years, not even months. Like for some of you, this has been a good 10 years, possibly longer. I'm also hearing four years for some of you. You've been very practical minded and you are a very reliable person. Um, some people may see you as, uh, I don't want to say king so much if you're female or masculine, it's more of a female masculine energy coming through. Um, you tend to be very grounded. Your heart is open. You might have a tendency to get hurt easily. You're very sensitive. But you're someone that can be relied on. You make things happen. You don't give up easily. You keep working through to get what you want. And look at that. You've got prosperity coming through again in a gift box. Look at those stars. Um, abundance, generosity is uh, number six, and prosperity. And someone is handing you a gift. So again, prosperity in some form is coming into your life. You might know what that is. Uh, and for some of you, I, I'm hearing it's a surprise. Like you, this is something you're not going to see coming. It's just going to hit you out of the blue. But you're going to be really excited. Um, for some people it could be financial, but it isn't necessarily about that. But it is something that you desire, something you would like to have. And for some of you, you don't even realize that it's something you want until you get it and you're just over the moon about it. And again, with generosity, um, this person is generous, generous, but also I feel you because over here we're talking about reliable. You are a person that's very generous, very giving. That's why, again, I feel like the heart is coming through. Um, and also abundance, because green is abundant color, very earthy. Some of you might spend a lot of time outside or just connecting with your heart. And that could be another reason abundance is coming through because when we manifest, you know, we're in our heart space with joy and love, it's much easier to manifest our desires. And we have solar plexus again, uh, mind, because down here we have mind and here we have mind. And interesting, also a bird again, because birds represent freedom. So this is going to be bringing a lot of freedom into your life. Uh, recuperation and rest, reminding you because you are doing a lot of work, be sure to take time. Spirit within is my all powerful healer. So, um, Number four, if I didn't say that, 
an owl, owl wisdom, very wise. Again, I feel that you, because up here we have clarity, you are someone that learns quickly. You have paid your dues. You've suffered at some point. Um, you're very choosy about uh, what you do, what you commit to, which is very wise. And reminding you, um, spirit within is my all-powerful healer, recuperating. Um, you are very connected again, I feel, with the earth, with the divine, and it's easy for you to realize when you need to take time, where before you might have overdone it to the point that you were just so exhausted you had no other choice than to rest. So this is um, an unfolding of knowledge, of spiritual gifts. Um, a lot of work has been put in, and let's see what our tarot have to reveal. Okay, so the first tarot is, <clears throat> excuse my voice, it's a little raspy. I've been recovering all week, which is why I've been MIA. <laughs> um, five of Cups, loss, and also throat chakra. Um, sadness, loss, grief, despair, abandonment, guilt, remorse, regret, trauma, mourning, heartbreak, unwelcome change, focusing on negative emotions, isolation, and loneliness. Okay, so hermiting, um, I feel like maybe this is where you've done some of the work and this work is what's put you where you are. It's strengthened you and brought you into the balance that you are in now. You've gone through some type of loss. Um, you were sad for a very long time and again, I feel like that 10 year, 15 year, four year mark coming in again. So you have been recovering for something and I think that's also why this is saying recuperation over here. And let's see the next tarot, number eight. And look at that, eight abundance and also infinite abundance and solar plexus, I love that. Solar plexus coming through three times. So you're really strong in your power, strength. Yes, inner strength, courage coming through again, bravery, confidence, compassion, taming, control over, whelming, self-doubt, focus, persuasion, influence, taming the beast within, harnessing instinctive desires, proper channeling of libido. So healing coming through again, growth coming through, standing in your power. Um, strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. So um, over here where it's talking about guilt and grief and loss, I feel like some of you felt responsible. You might have been blaming yourself for something, but you've come to terms with that. You're standing in your power again. You know, you're speaking your truth. You're just letting all of these things out that need to be healed, which is really opening you up. And let me see what else, if there's another message. Um, mastering your self, mastering your emotions, emotional intelligence. Like this has been a major growth period for you. Whatever it is you've gone through, the suffering, the grief, it could be a relationship, it could be anything, something that just affected you on a really deep level. <clears throat> and the last tarot. And we have throat chakra coming through again. So I feel like the solar plexus and the heart and the throat are three of the main chakras that you really needed to do some massive work on, which you have, <clears throat> excuse me. No obstacles will stop me now, yes. So that is solar plexus, but you're also using your throat chakra, you're speaking it, the chariot, victory, overcoming obstacles, success, ambition, determination, willpower, control, self-discipline, hard work and focus, triumphant progress, single-mindedness, mastery, courage, skill. Okay, so this is confirming everything all of the cards have already said. Number seven, which is also uh, an abundant number, a luck, seen as a luck number, uh, 922 on the timer. So you are recovering, and look at this, I see these Egyptian, I think, lions or sphinx, the black and the white, I feel like that represents masculine and feminine again coming through, but also balance. Um, and just standing in your power as it's confirmed on many, 
like just coming back into your wholeness and beyond like becoming more of who you are but growing in a way that kind of caught you off guard that perhaps you didn't expect to become the person that you are now and you're just very happy and delighted with that so let's see what your last you have three more cards and then an activation and look at this for the th let me see three yeah three times throat chakra lapis lazuli expression express your true self the world needs you okay so i feel again that's what's been going on you're learning how to speak to yourself because up here it was talking about self-love and compassion forgiveness so by forgiving yourself it's also made it easier to forgive others if you felt that you needed to do that and this has also been another great learning process and tool like I feel like some of you are not quite as judgmental as you used to be. It's easier for you to forgive, like you understand the situation. Um, if something has happened that you're, you don't particularly like or enjoy, and that's not to say that you let anyone treat you poorly or get away with something. It's just you see it, you understand it for what it is or why they are that way. And you're able to just, you know, remember your own personal issues and the things that you've worked through which helps you see this more clearly so you're able to forgive them and just move on <clears throat> okay and heart chakra coming through three times i love that and if the next card is solar plexus i'm going to fall over <laughs> okay heart chakra road and i love is a verb so make it your most treasured action and I feel like, again, a lot of that because healing your heart, living from your heart, which is why a lot of that prosperity and that wisdom is coming through, you're able to manifest differently and more powerfully than you had before because you're doing it from a place of love, a place of confidence and strength. Oh my God. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my God. Wow, okay, so, well, I didn't quite fall over, but I'm still in shock. Solar plexus amber, fearlessness turns your, turns your warrior into a warrior. And coming out over here under solar plexus again, um, standing in your power like you've worked so hard. I can see that with every card. In order for you to become who you are, you've really had to do work on yourself and to see the truth, to vocalize the truth, to accept it, love it and release it. So you are balanced out. You are more spiritually in tune, um, emotionally in tune as well. And I have one last card. We're actually doing an activation. And let's see. <clears throat> the activation enlightenment, which uh, Again, as we were speaking about the cards, about how you've grown and what you've received, how you function now, you have become more spiritually enlightened. So, and let me show you the other side of the activation. Wow, what a beautiful reading. Be proud and celebrate. What a huge accomplishment. So those are your messages for the week. I hope they are helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam. Okay, let me see. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's Oracle and Tarot reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile number two. And this is a new deck. I really love it. It is called Inner Voice, and it is based on the tarot, even though it's not tarot. And I just love how each card is kind of a beautiful colors, but sort of flat, mattish. Um, burden, vision, number 10, and spirit. Power is mine in this very moment. And look at that. Strength, this is you. And look at all those dominoes you're holding up. I think those are dominoes. So reminding you um, how strong and powerful you are. Some of you might be having a weak moment and there's nothing wrong with that. We're constantly questioning. We go back and forth. But I feel like some of you have been a little stuck. You've been dealing with something that has become a burden. 
So it's time with the vision to look at the situation, connect to your spirit, realize the power and strength that you have. You can walk away, you can change the situation. You don't have to continue doing this anymore. So let's find out some more about this. And reds coming through, so grounded, grounding down, partnership, choice, lovers. I open my heart to the unexpected gifts of community. Okay, so community, a form of community, it could be a group, it could be as small as two to three people, but um, the universe is saying someone is coming in to help you with the situation. So open your heart, allow them, don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed. The universe wants you, that's why this help is being offered to you. Perhaps these people coming to you have been through the same situation and they have knowledge that you haven't gained yet through your experience and they're gonna help you with this. So just make sure that you stay open and lovers could be a lover coming, it could be a lover going. But again, it's your choice and this could be a partnership with what you're leaving or it could be a new partnership with the people coming in could be building something after this. You might be inspired to start a community or to join this community with these people and help others like yourself. And interesting, look at this. Uh, notice how it's blue and then all of the yellow. Look how this stands out, a green pencil, abundance and a little green heart. So connecting with your heart and look at all of this. Again, community coming in. I feel like people are coming in to help. Hardship, suffering, I release fear and embrace love, mind. So we have spirit, lovers, and mind. So the heart coming through, healing and connecting your heart, allowing these people to come in and heal and love you, letting go of the suffering. And again, it's hardship, it's time to let this go. Whatever this card is up here, that's reminding you of your power and that you can change that situation now. I love that tiny little heart in the center there and they're all pointing at it and they're surrounding you with love. And the last one, uh, synchronicity, kindred, page, emotion. And we have a little frog floating with the fish. So water elements coming in. I share divine connection with all creation. So a reminding you again that you have this power, reminding you that you are connected to everything, especially the times that we feel upset and alone. We have guidance. We have, you know, seen and unseen. And if you're someone that doesn't believe in that, I would recommend just starting with something simple that you can believe in and work towards it because there are guides, there are ancestors, there are angelics, beings of other times and dimensions. As crazy as that might sound to some people, I know for a fact because I experience it all the time, but I wasn't always like that. I got away from it, but I'm hearing for some of you just reconnecting to that spirit, the divine spark. Pay more attention to the synchronicities that are coming in. And with kindred, I feel like over here again, people are coming in, kindred spirits are going to come in. And even though that's a fish and that's a frog and they're completely different, they're divinely connected. And emotion, healing emotions, allowing emotions to flow. Maybe you've been holding back, you've been afraid to be vulnerable because of whatever the situation is that puts you in that low vibrational feeling that you're not happy with. So let's grab the tarot and see what we have. <clears throat> okay, so the first one is nurturing. Wow, a lot of love, okay? This is, wow, there's so much support coming in. The universe is sending to you, creator sending to you. Um, they want you to feel loved and cared for. You deserve it, yes. And third eye, so doing some third eye work, whatever that is for you. Um, Queen of Cups, a choice based on sincere feelings, imagination, dreams, empathy, occult interest, deep feeling, your mother or a mother substitute may play a significant role in near future events. Okay, so that could also be 
um, whoever this reading is talking about that is coming in for you, a mother or a mother like figure. It could be a group of women. Uh, it could be mixed group. I'm not getting any, anything specific if you're male. Uh, it could be mixed female and male, or it could be all male or all female, depending on what you need. But just be open for this to come in, the nurturing. And again, it's talking about the similarities um, that an emotion there, and it's also talking about based on sincere feelings and um, dreams, empathy. So these people are gonna be so good for you. I feel like it's a new group of friends, a fresh start, pulling you out of that situation, reminding you who you are, what you're capable of. And again, that just that beautiful, loving connection coming in for you. Incredible. Oh. Okay, and the next tarot, maybe, <laughs> number zero and crown chakra again look that third eye and crown chakra so high consciousness coming in really lifting you up the fool it's time to embark on a brand new beginning yes letting that old go letting that situation or that person those things that have broken your spirit <clears throat> and made you feel stuck you know what let me get a drink real quick i'm sorry about my voice today guys you know I have been missing all week if you're a regular on my channel, so <laughs> sorry about that. I am planning on recording some videos tomorrow. I'm feeling much better, but my voice is a little shot. Okay, so the Fool. Innocence, freedom, originality, adventure, travel, foolishness, carelessness, idealism, youth, spontaneity, spontaneity, lack of commitment, new beginnings. Okay, new beginnings coming through. Uh, let me see, second, two, two, three times now with the higher consciousness. Like this is really a heavy flow I'm feeling coming in, just lifting you up, supporting you, helping you to reconnect to the childlike nature, your wonder, the spirituality, the emotions, the mind, the love, and the spirit. So all, um, what is, I want to say Trinity, but it's not quite Trinity because there's four. So the higher consciousness coming in twice, just completely shifting and changing you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, lifting you up where you need to be, completely loved and surrounded by the most caring and loving people. This is just oozing this whole reading is just oozing with love and support i'm so excited for you and the last tarot card is choice maybe and look at that third eye coming through again two of wands two paths two decisions or i'm sorry two paths decisions options planning grass is always greener on the other side uh, immigration suddenly leaving deciding to stay or go waiting anticipation restlessness detachment withdraw wonder lust okay ending with the last tarot i feel very strongly power is mine in this moment spirit 10 where it's talking about uh, let me see burden and vision where you've been dreaming about getting away from that situation and this is saying yes you have the choice it's confirming you have the choice you have all of this lovely support coming in for you really high vibrational energy caring very unusual people whoever this group of people mother or mother like figure coming in and just saying yes it's your choice you can make it at any time but it's you know the universe is wanting you to start moving forward now immigration leaving withdrawal wonderlust detachment and as you start to release and get away from that person or situation whatever that is you're going to start to be um, the movement, like I said, there's a very heavy flow of energy coming through in this reading. It's just going to sweep you off your feet in a good way. Okay, and oh, look at that. Crown chakra coming through again. So we have two third eyes and two crown chakras. Whoops. And oddly enough, I wore purple today. I don't usually wear purple, uh, except for the videos when it's requested. But for some reason, I just grabbed it out today. Um, let me see. It is rainbow moonstone. Calmness. To calm your monkey mind, do not feed the animal. So paying attention to your thoughts, not getting caught up and stressed out. Um, when we start to feel this way, that's when we start to become more detached. We're not in that natural flow of love and beauty. 
And the minute you start to feel that way, just realize it, calm down, connect to what makes you feel good. Maybe place your hand on your heart and take some breaths. That's always very helpful. And heart chakra, rose quartz, self-love. You can only love others as much as you love yourself. Yes. Um, I find that sometimes whenever we feel guilty about something or unworthy, undeserving, that's, you know, we kind of push people away. And I feel like maybe this is something you've needed to work on. Whatever that situation you were in has called, caused you to start to feel like you're unworthy or you don't deserve something. Maybe somebody has been planting those thoughts in your mind or you've just been stuck and you don't know which way to go, but you feel like maybe you don't deserve help. So reminding you that yes, you do. We all get stuck in situations. That's why all of this love, this group of people is coming in to help you in a very powerful way, help you reconnect to your own heart, your own self-love as well, because you are worthy and deserving. And I like the green on the green pencil with the green heart. Oh, look at that. Crown chakra again. Wow. Okay, that is, so you've got so much support coming in. Uh, blue lace agate divinity recognize the divine in the mirror yes you're not alone remember who you are where you came from the power connect to your heart connect to the third eye and the crown this energy is going to help you even more so maybe doing some type of affirmations or um, meditation with those particular chakras and i have one last card left it is an act um, sacred geom sacred geometry activation and here's the front look at all that green and purple again coming through for you amazing spirit is speaking very loudly to you confidence yes you just need a little more confidence coming back into your self-love and who you are you're gonna be just fine so those are the messages for the week. I hope they are helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sat Nam. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's Oracle and Tarot reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile number three. And right away, look at all three of those cards. Major abundance is about to come through for you. Uh, and also, this is a new deck. I just came across these. I really love them. It's called the Inner Voice. And they're not tarot, but they're actually based on the tarot. They're affirmations, but also sort of oracle-ish. Um, frugality, practicality, page, prosperity. I am open to the unexpected joy and beauty. Okay, let me see what we have coming through with this. Frugality and practice, okay? I feel like the universe has been trying to offer more for you, but you have been uh, very frugal and practical, which, you know, sometimes we need to do that. But I feel like maybe some of you have gotten stuck, like because you're very self-aware self-conscious like you might be somebody uh before you go out like you budget everything to the last penny and you're not open to receive like you're really controlling and not allowing things to come and go as they should that natural flow in the universe no wonder you know you've got backed up <laughs> prosperity here so the universe is saying you know more because look it's already sprouting it's right here you just need to be more open to receive it um, you don't have to be afraid or nervous whenever we hold on to things that's stopping the natural flow and that's just going to cause problems okay and and cornucopia look at that number nine prosperity gratitude material gain okay so lots of abundance nothing particular like it's not just one thing there's a lot coming in trying to come in that wants to come in um, so 
we have what this cornucopia with fruit and vegetables but also it looks like there's some coins so definitely um, financial abundance but also material and just um, by gratitude not that you haven't been grateful but when we practice gratitude it tends to change our vibration our frequency instantly and it makes it allows more to flow in so I feel like maybe paying attention to saying it several times throughout the day maybe when you start your morning and before you go to bed um, think of five to ten things that you're grateful for that day place your hand on your heart and just feel the love and the gratitude for those things and that's gonna really help open you up and get everything flowing again there's all if that doesn't sound good there's all kinds of um, gratitude practices so I'm hearing for those of you that don't particularly like that one look up find a way find a gratitude practice that works for you and we have illusion concealment and the moon new beginnings the light of my being dispels all shadows okay this the, for some reason this card I'm hearing um, Gabrielle Bernstein she has a deck I think it's several years old now I actually have it but this kind of reminds me of it um, there might be some messages there for you if you're looking for a deck to use maybe for gratitude I think she has a gratitude deck no wonder it popped into my mind so an illusion and concealment again I feel like because you've been so extreme with your finances with your abundance it's sort of become an illusion like you feel you have to control it you might not get more you're not going to receive more you're thinking with a um, what's the word a poverty consciousness not intentionally I feel like it's just a loop that you've gotten stuck in but the universe is already here supporting you telling you just acknowledge it you're going to be able to let that go and moon maybe you feel uh, very connected more to the night than the day so maybe doing some of your practices at night 333 on the clock 3333 oh my gosh so spirit speaking to you let the illusion go things are being concealed you're not allowing yourself to see what is trying to come about for you it seems concealed because you're holding yourself back where it is concealed uh, prosperity for the third time all three of these cards legacy prosperity I am in I am living a fully inspired life okay this is something else that will help um, get you into the abundance frame of mind that high vibrational energy and also connecting to your heart uh, all of this green coming through very grounded also um, prosperity but the heart chakra you might need some work on the heart chakra some self-love uh, it is your legacy it is your birthright to be prosperous the gates are open there's no lock there's no key just the stars the divine universe is opening the floodgates the heavens all you have to do is walk through you don't need to struggle you don't need to try so hard when something is your birthright it means it is yours naturally it belongs to you you don't really have to put the effort um, to just to be open to receive it where again as I said you have kind of been cutting yourself off somehow and number 10 I don't know if I said that number and when you do what you love that's another thing maybe why you've been cut off um, you're not doing the things that you love that make you feel good and happy it can be as simple as just doing volunteering maybe once a week at a shelter or for an elderly home just something that you love it could be a job it could be a hobby just connecting with something that really moves you because that will instantly shift your energy and let's see what your tarot offer us what messages oh, look at that heart chakra <laughs> so open open your heart feel the love the passion do the things that inspire you it's time for a new beginning prosperity is trying to roll in and this is even a great affirmation to say I am open to unexpected joy and beauty in, in a spirit of Thanksgiving I thrive 
but not necessarily the holiday Thanksgiving, just being grateful in general. Um, death. I'm willing to let go of a past version of myself. Yes, it's time to release that. Step into your full power. Um, spiritual transformation. New beginnings coming through again. Letting go. Endings change. Transition. Sudden or unexpected. Upheaval. Endings. Release. Cleansing. Purging. Uh, revitalization. Stripping away the worthless matter. Liberation through purgation. Okay, so it is really time to do a cleansing of some sort. That's exactly what these steps are about. Um, a major cleansing for you. Whatever that looks like. Maybe it's completely changing your diet for a week. Maybe doing a juice or a smoothie cleanse. Maybe a salad cleanse. Um, doing some exercise. Wherever you feel that you need this. Um, death, to me, that's always a very positive card. It's time to let go of this old, to move forward, to shift into that new beginning. Start purging and releasing. You can do this through meditation, maybe get a massage, water cleansing. There's so many different ways, just whatever speaks to you. And number 13, I think, or is that 15? 13, in case I didn't say that number. And the next tarot is yes root chakra ten of pentacles culmination unexpected financial windfall lump sum will deed trust funds inheritance solid foundations privilege inherited issues ancestry family home business responsibility value support issues riches old money and affluence Okay, so this is confirming, remember uh, which one of these cards, how I was saying, yes, this one, where it's not just about money, it's about everything you're meant to receive and a green card coming through again, I love that. So once you get the flow, once you get moving, you start purging, releasing, getting that energy, something beautiful and major is trying to come into your life. It's, you know, on the horizon and it could be happening as soon as tomorrow. It just depends, you know, be open to unexpected joy and beauty, to abundance. You're worthy. It's time you receive this. You don't need to be so frugal anymore. You won't have to. You're going to be well taken care of. I mean, from wills to lump sum, you know, some type of winnings, ancestry inheritance from family homes and businesses, major money and resources are about to come into your life. And the last tarot is friendship, third eye. Yes, three of cups, reunions, celebrations, parties, socializing, gatherings. See what you're moving to? Indulgence, festivals, festivities, gatherings, happiness, wedding, engagement, party, graduation, baby shower, happy times. Okay, so major, and this gives so many different opportunities and things, um, people that are going to be surrounding you, these gatherings, some of this might be your own celebration, what you're moving into now, and some of these other things are just, um, by being around people, this is something that helps, I don't know anybody, it doesn't help if you're open to it, but when you're around other people that are celebrating a high life, and just welcoming and allowing all the goodness, that high energy is going to help shift you. So if you have some type of in invitation, maybe a friend, family, work, somebody invites you to some type of celebration, go to it. Even if it's something you wouldn't normally do, the universe is saying, yes, get into that spirit of celebration and gratitude. And that's going to help shift you. It's very powerful when you're around people like that. I love it especially when you're open to it like that. It'll just move you right along. Okay, so the next three cards, and we have one, uh, three more cards and then an activation. Sacral Chakra, Fire Agate. Light that fire, baby. <laughs> Creation, the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. I love that. And again, I like that. Um, is that, yeah, coming out on the death card. Death and creation, chaos. Let it go. Ignite your passion, your fire. Accept your birthright. Third eye. Third eye came through. Third eye and crown chakra came through 
very powerfully for all three readings actually dreams uh, let me see labyrinth yeah labradorite labradorite i never say that right dreams are where your mind translates the divine so paying attention to your thoughts getting in the habit of saying affirmations again coming through gratitude practice of some sort maybe a meditation writing your dreams down as well is a very powerful habit you can get some messages there influence and messages and crown chakra how light meditation to see more clearly close your eyes so meditation coming through twice for some of you the higher consciousness the support the divine um, people are coming into your life start celebrating get in, get into that gratitude and celebration energy i kind of feel like this might be for me as well because i have had a rough week guys oh my gosh um <clears throat> So again, meditation, whatever that is for you, whether it's sitting with your eyes closed or a form of walking meditation, anything, just getting into the right energy is gonna get everything moving and flowing again for you. Receiving the abundance and the prosperity that you deserve and desire. Okay, so let's see what your activation. This is the front of the card. And what is this? Third wave. Okay, third wave, right away I think of Dolores Cannon when I hear that. You might be a third wave, third wave volunteer and you've gotten a little off the path and this is key for you, activation. But also third wave of energy, um, like maybe this is going to be happening in waves, so pay attention to what's going on. But some type of third wave of energy, of people, of transformation. Wow, beautiful message. Thank you so much for joining me. These are your messages for the week. I hope they are helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sadnam.